This is Mr. Tulips at Hammer and Hatchet Engineering. And I'm down to one more brake line. I've saved the best for last. I've got it hooked up to the master cylinder, to this T, all the way down, and up to, to the union. That already shows you the rear. So. And if you can see it up there, I did the fronts. They're all hooked up. So I just have the uh, one T. I need the brake line from that T to this T, which would be right, right here. Anyway, I'm sitting there hanging out, checking things out, thinking about life, and I noticed that this engine, the transmission mount. There it is. There on my finger is it was off, and I went, oh, "Okay, I need to get a new one of those." And then I started looking, and I noticed that all the transmission bolts are missing. So now I gotta figure out why they were removed. I think most likely they were probably just gonna. I think they're going to take the transmission out. I did try to um, shift it into first and reverse, or in all gears, but anyway, it wouldn't go into first or reverse. So, and then I checked and I had noticed I had no oil, and now I found this. So most likely they were probably going to take the transmission out. Anyway, I ordered new bolts and a nut for the rear mount. And I'm going to install them, and then or actually once I'm done with the brakes, I, I will pop the top of the transmission and have a look inside, see if I can see anything missing or, or see if I can see any smoking guns. The th clutch linkage is all still hooked up. It feels like the, the clutch is moving. Maybe that was the problem, I don't know. It, so it looks like I got some investigating to do before I'm able to drive this car for just a quick test run. Alrighty, well, let's explore the joys of MG life. Uh, this is Mr. Tulos at Howard Hatchet Engineering, over and out.